Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew Olsentowski. I'm bringing you another early prediction video. Today we are covering Marina Rodriguez versus Mackenzie Dern. Um, this is the main event. It takes place October 9th, 2021 from Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, UFC Apex. All right. Just wanted to see if there was another name for it. Um, Best Fight Odds is calling it UFC Fight Night 194. And, uh, man, very interesting main event. Um, with some possible um, near title implications for the female strawweight division here. And, uh, man, it's a very interesting matchup, so let's get into it, man. Marina Rodriguez versus Mackenzie Dern. Marina Rodriguez coming off that nice main event win against Michelle Watterson. She's 34 years old. Five foot six, sixty-five inch reach, and uh, let's take a look at her record. Her last fight against Michelle Waterson was in the flyweight, was in the strawweight division, or yeah, flyweight division, um, for women. Nice win over Amanda Rebas, and in, uh, in January, lost to Carla Esparza by split decision. She's had a she had a draw with Cynthia Cavillo. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, she's, she's on the rise, too, man. And the UFC's putting two prospects together. Um, you know, one of them will be fighting for a title in the very near future. That is for sure. Um, but Mackenzie Dern. Thought, I thought for sure the way she came into the UFC, she looked like she was going to be a washout. She did not look good. Um, was having scale issues. But, uh, beat Ashley Yoder by supposed to beat Amanda Bobby Cooper. Lost to Amanda Rivas by unanimous decision. That's when people were still high in Rivas. People really don't know what to think of Rivas now. She's kind of been exposed. And uh, But, man, she's rattled off four straight wins over Hannah Cyphers, Random Marcos. Um, and she's beaten him in devastating fashion. Verna Janet Arobo, which I think is a really good win. Um, not too high on Nina Nunez. You know, she, that's post-pregnancy Nina Nunez. But, like I said, Mackenzie Dern's had a kid as well. And she's 28. Five foot four, sixty-three inch reach. So she's had a two inch reach advantage, two inch height disadvantage, and uh, she's six years younger. And let's look and let's look at these stats. Let's look at these stats. So we see Marina Rodriguez is the more active fighter. She she throws more strikes per minute. 3.24 absorbed. Um, and Mackenzie Dern doesn't have a lot of takedown accuracy, 10%. And I think this is going to be a close fight, man. I just, I have a really hard time not seeing, I mean, I, I don't like to lay favorite price, and I, and I won't lay favorite price. But all right, you know, five dimes opened it. Mackenzie Dern minus 160, Marina Rodriguez plus 130. But a line open, Mackenzie Dern minus 185. Come back on, Rodriguez plus 160. And yeah, we saw Rodriguez go five rounds, but it was up 10 pounds at women's flyweight. Now she's fighting at straw weight. Gonna go five rounds like that. It's gonna tax your cardio, or I think she's a big girl. Mackenzie Dern, a little more, I mean, Mackenzie Dern's a thick girl too, but she's, you know, her height and that's a little more manageable for straw weight, a little bit younger, which helps her make weight, and I just, I just have a feeling like, I mean, they're both, they're both phenomenal women, they're both, I mean, they're both highly ranked prospects, I think the UFC's cool with either of them winning, and uh, possibly advancing to a title shot or a title eliminator with Carla Esparza. Hopefully Esparza does get the get the next shot after uh, you know after Rose Zhang too. But if Zhang wins, you, you, shit, they might make a third. I I don't know though. I it's, it's that'd be really tying up the division. So let's not think that far ahead. But man, I just I just have a funny feeling that. Mackenzie Dern just catches her with something here, man. You know, puts her in some type of nasty submission. We haven't seen Dern go five rounds, but, man, I'm just, I just got a, I got a belief in her that she can do this, man. 
you know, and like I said, I was I was a big skeptic for a long time with Mackenzie Dern, you know, she's just having weight issues, but she's really taking this stuff serious now, man, and she's a very bad girl on the ground, man, she can pull off some nasty stuff on you, and, uh, you know, Michelle Watterson just couldn't get it there, she just couldn't get it to the ground, she finally did in the fourth round, and it was a little too late, but she took a lot of damage on the feet, but Michelle Watterson, she's she showed heart. I, I had a bet on her there, and she did show heart. Um, but like I said, Marina Rodriguez, she yeah, she's shown she can go five. Her cardio held up, man. But I think Mackenzie Dern might be a different animal here, man. And right now, my pick is going to be Mackenzie Dern. I wouldn't lay the favorite price on it. Um, I would think that more money might come in on Rodriguez here, man. If, if, if the odds were to balloon up to Rodriguez plus 170 or so, maybe i take a shot. Maybe. There'd probably be some value there. Just like I felt like there was some value on Watterson against Rodriguez. Watterson just kind of waited too long to just to, to take it to her. You know, she was just getting pieced up for a little bit, man. Marina Rodriguez can throw hard. But I think these 10 extra pounds is going to make a big difference, man. I just, I just got that feeling, man. You know, she's got to cut 10 extra pounds. You know, and then fight, and then fight a beast like Mackenzie Dern. And, uh... So right now my head my head's just telling me Mackenzie Dern gets this done. You know, but so you know, I, I just think that on betting lines it's a dog or pass situation, man, but I just I don't see the value on Marina Rodriguez to really, you know, pull the trigger on a bet here. But yeah, so my straight pick's gonna be Mackenzie Dern. I just have a feeling she pulls this off, whether by decision or by submission here.